of the most fascinating and spectacular wolves to watch in this game, man. Conversion uh, game on point. Let's see what he can do here. He's landing forward air, I like it. Just trying to get back into to the ground after taking a little bit of percentage. Yeah. This is really important here because of the early percent. What really matters is the footsie game is how much you commit to your opponent, how much your opponent commits to you. You being a wolf main, how would you see this matchup? Because I feel like what Charlie wants to do is condition Kamehameha to respect the blaster, especially out of range. Yeah, I haven't played it too much. Um, the blaster, the only thing about it is that I know Charlie doesn't like abuse it too much, not even prior to the patch, but it, it's good for him because uh, it's been nerfed, so it, it has a ton of end lag now. Air dodging to the ledge is still going to be caught in those vulnerability frames. Forward tilt right there, cleaning up that first stock. Oh, okay. I think he wanted a downer right there instead of the third, uh, the third uh, forward air. All right, Nair, gonna convert that into immediate up air for Charlie. I feel like what he's trying to do is get some space enough to have Kamehameha approach him and then whiff any of his options. But Kamehameha's kind of being very cautious here. I like the fact that he went for back air to shield because he probably felt, you know what, Charlie, you might cross me up with a neutral air, and I already gonna feel that. But unfortunately, Charlie just didn't place. This is kind of the trade of the Nairs, but I feel that's the one thing Charlie hasn't been going for is Nair in general. You yeah. haven't seen him approach with Nair or even try to go for a fadeaway Nair. Like, if he goes for, he goes for an empty hop out of shield because he wanted to go ahead and try to get a, a grab. Oh, the up ah. tilt into the waft. The true confirm coming out from Kameme. That's the only, like, situation that I've really seen Kameme look for that. I mean, it's such a good, like, option coverage. Uh, up tilt by the ledge is going to cover, like, a normal getup, even a roll if you're spaced correctly. Yeah. Um, so that, that was just, you know, covers multiple options and confirms into the waft. And now he's up three stocks to one. Oh, Charlie that trying was... to get that sma up smash in. You have to be careful how you recover, Charlie, because if he did not angle the wolf fire like that, he would have got caught by a Wario. Okay, here's a down throw. Up air. Charlie has to watch the landing. He has to come into the up here because the side view was not going to be worth it. Neutral get up. I was scared for that because Kamehameha might have called that out. Charlie really struggling to find something here. He used the bike so he could cover it up as a hitbox. Oh my and god. And then Charlie had been picking up neutral getup twice already. He didn't mix up his getup. If he would have gone for an aerial perhaps, or would have gone for a jump getup, that would have been different. But I respect the fact that like... Did he get three stock? He... I don't... I, yeah, he did. He got at least two stock. And yeah. At this point, at the ledge, Kamehameha set up bike so he has an extension with Waft if Charlie took the wrong option. And he had there, he had the actual bike there if Charlie went to pick a uh, get up attack. So he had a lot of options covered for Charlie, but this time Charlie's gonna go ahead and say, you know what, forget it, I don't like how Wolf flies through. I need to make sure that when I get my hits, they combo much better to one another and he's gonna go ahead and go Sheik. Sheik, okay, this is an interesting pick from Charlie. That's definitely one of the characters he uses in this game. Mostly Wolf, though, so for him to switch off, I feel like he really was struggling in that matchup or didn't really know, have an answer. At least in this, with this, he has, like, uh, quicker frame data. Yeah. To contest with Wario, and then he can keep him at bay with the needles as well. Okay, forward air is coming up from Kameme, setting up the chomp. This time he goes for the roll getup, and I do like the fact that he has that a little bit in play because he knows the neutral getup was the one thing that killed me last game. So like to mix up a little bit better. Unfortunately, when you jump like that towards the ledge, all you get is Rick James, and then you're out down the stock. <laughs> and only 37% on Kameme over here, setting up for the up tilt. So an up tilt right here on Sheik probably would do it, especially on the platform. I think that would have been the KO. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh the bounce back from the bouncing fish paid the price. You have to be careful when you go on the shield there. Nice, Charlie with playing with momentum right now. Good Nair, immediately sensing up the neutral air, especially from Kameme. Up B, goes for the ledge, good oh, play here, but unfortunately... Uncharged walk though, it's not gonna be very fruitful for Kameme. Unable to find that KO. I usually like to call the uncharged walk the booty tickler. Cause you, you get so scared, dude. The silent and not so deadly. Oh my yeah. god, missed tech into the dash attack right there. And Kameme working on yet another three stock here against Charlie the King. This is really interesting to see how far Japan has come over America. If, oh, that's finally telling, you know, Kameme, you know, I don't want to get three stocks. But going back to that quick tangent really quick, because like Frostbite 2019, we saw the crew battle in Japan kind of wipe the floor with us. Yeah. But back then, you know, America had a number on Japan, but this time around, Kind of, kind of the one taking the strike, especially the first okay. year of the game. But this Charlie is gonna be the King firing mm -hmm. back right now. 38%. He's still got a whole stock 
to um, get rid of, but he's definitely playing with way more momentum now. Yeah, good opportunity trying to go for like that the great forward tilt there, and especially the way he makes himself out there. For Charlie, I do see him respecting Kamehameha a little bit more. He hasn't charged needles because he hasn't had the time. That's one thing that she did get buffed. Her needle charge is a little bit faster. That's all right. Dash attack, great tech chase coming out from Kamehameha. Nice, good to cross up with the back air. And he, oh, he wanted the tech chase, but he missed it and he got, didn't get the forward tilt in the right spot. Another thing is, too, Kamehameha actually plays this character. He plays Yeah, he does. Himself. It's kind of like, you know, man, how can you counterfeit me if I know how the character works? All right, forward air to bouncing fish. Charlie uh, getting a ton of conversions right here. Yep. Oh, forward smash by the ledge. He's back in it. We're down to our last stocks here. However, Kamehameha has a, a pretty dangerous waft online. Right yeah, he right does. Now. It's literally the doom counter. And unfortunately, if Charlie runs out of time, he just gets... Oh, he's not even going to need it. Back air by the ledge. And that's going to be it, too. Oh, for Kamehameha. Yeah, at that point, I wanted to say Charlie should have been content more with getting back on the ledge than to try to go for an aerial because that's what kind of was the death of him. He, Kamehameha 